Astrobotic technology will launch to the moon from Cape Canaveral, blasting off on a Falcon 9 rocket. The rocket will carry the Astrobotic rover, its lander, and 230 pounds of payload. Customers will be space agencies and corporate sponsors. The rocket will throw the rover and its lander into a lunar trajectory. This engineering simulation traces the spacecraft path to lunar orbit. The expedition will head for the Sea of Tranquility, where the Apollo 11 crew made the first moon landing. Descent to the surface will use technology from Carnegie Mellon University. It has invented autonomous vehicles smart enough to avoid obstacles and plan their own path. These technologies will be adapted to guide the lunar lander. The expedition will land two days after lunar dawn and explore for two weeks. Artists, scientists, and amateur drivers will take part. The five-foot-tall robot has two ramps available in case one is blocked by boulders or a crater. It will seek rewards from Google, NASA, and Florida worth up to $36 million. The rover starts the expedition by turning its solar panels to the sun for maximum power. Astrobotic and Carnegie Mellon have built several prototypes. This field test shows the latest version. Its suspension system keeps all four wheels on the ground despite obstacles. The robot's solar panels are fully illuminated as it travels away from the sun. The robot also can drive in reverse if that's needed to keep its solar panels in sunlight. The camera mass rotates around to point in the new direction so operators on Earth can see the path ahead. The cameras will show high-definition video in 3D as it explores. The final goal is to inspect the historic Apollo 11 site. The robot will see how the Apollo materials have weathered during four decades of exposure to vacuum and harsh radiation. Nightfall brings deep cold, two weeks of hibernation, and the hope to awaken at the next dawn.